Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue with my series entitled Blue Solos with Comping. In this series we learn how to go back and forth between lead guitar and rhythm guitar accompaniment, also known as comping. First I'll perform Blue Solo with Comping in the key of F, number three, and then I'll break it down for you. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's break down blue solo with comping in the key of F number three. This exercise goes back and forth from lead guitar to rhythm guitar accompaniment, otherwise known as comping. We have a 12 bar blues that I've broken down into three parts. We'll go through each of the parts and divide it into its licks, and then you can put them back together. Let's look at the scales that we'll be using in this example. The first scale is the F blues scale at the first fret. Now remember the term blues scale and minor pentatonic are sometimes used interchangeably because the minor pentatonic is the same as the blues scale with the addition of the blue note. The first pattern looks like this. Here's the F blues scale. We will also be using the adjacent pattern of the F minor pentatonic around a third to fourth fret area. Here's F minor pentatonic. And finally, we'll be using a bit of the F major pentatonic around the first fret. It looks like this. Now that we've looked at the scales, let's go on to part one. Okay, so the first lick is a pickup lick. That means we're starting in an incomplete measure and we're going to start on beat two. So beat one goes by one and then we come in with this triplet and it's in the F minor pentatonic scale, starting with the quarter bend. And then we go into the major pentatonic scale and then back to the minor. Bend release pull off, ending on the root F. Then we go into our comping pattern, which is based on an abbreviated F seventh chord. So we have the flat seven, the major third, and the fifth here. And you're going to hear a little bit of the minor third as well because we're going to hammer on with our middle finger here. That gives it a nice bluesy sound. And we're going to go over here for the comping pattern and we're barring across the third fret uh, on the fourth string, third string, second string. This is a B flat triad, but we're not really changing to a B flat chord here. This is just movement around the F seventh harmony. And we go back to our F seventh. We're going to go into that adjacent um, F minor pentatonic pattern that we covered, and I have a double stop, and I'm going to slide into it sort of from a nondescript place, about a fretish. So I've got triplets, triplet, triplet, then I come back over to the first fret area with a hammer on. So I'm hammering on the minor third into the major third. And then up the major pentatonic. And then back to our comping pattern. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's put those together. Now, on to part two. So part two, we start with this lick. We're moving into the adjacent F minor pentatonic pattern that we talked about. So we're going to slide in, slide back, then we're going to roll our ring finger. And then we have a bend, release, pull off, ending the lick on B flat. This is good because we're headed into the B flat chord, or we're starting the B flat bar there when we hit the note B flat. So we're using the B flat to outline the chord change, the move to the B flat seventh chord, which is the four chord in our chord progression. So then we'll move up to the sixth fret to do our comping pattern. This is the same comping pattern that we used for F seventh, but it's now adjusted for B flat seventh. So we're going to start with the abbreviated dominant chord B flat seven. We have flat seven, three, and five, and we're hammering on from under the bar. You hear the minor third. Then we go over to this triad, which is now E flat, and then back to the abbreviated dominant chord, B flat. So. And then we head down to the first fret-ish to fourth fret-ish area, and we play this double stop. Now, conveniently, we're on B flat here, and these two notes are part of the B flat seventh chord. This is the third of the B flat seven, and this is the seventh of the chord, so we're using chord tones here. Then we go into an F minor pentatonic lick. So we're going to bend here, whole step. Roll our index across the first fret, and then we have a whole step bend here to the note F. And then we go back to our F comping pattern. Let's put that together. Here's part three. So this lick descends right down the F blues scale, and we're going to start at the fourth fret with a quarter bend and go down the blues scale in triplets. Notice that I ended here on the note C. This is useful here because we're leading into the C seventh chord, which is the five chord of our 12 bar blues progression, and this would be the root. So we've successfully landed on the note C when the C chord change starts, and then we're going to play C ninth chord. So in this C ninth chord, we have a root, third, flat seven, nine, and you can play the five on the top if you want. And we're going to take this voicing and move it down chromatically until we're on B flat. So C nine, B nine, B flat nine. Notice that the B flat ninth uses an open D string. And then we have our next lick. So we have a whole step bend. Bend release pull off. And then finger roll here. And then we have our abbreviated F seventh chord. Then we have D flat ninth, which is a half step above the C ninth, down to the C ninth. And then we're going to end on F 13th. 
voicing here is flat 7, 3, 6, and root. Let's put that last part together. That's it for Blue Solo with Comping in the key of F number 3. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.